the second day, the trash talk continues. This time, Councilman Aaron Banks held his own town hall meeting to tell his side of the story, while the future of waste removal in the city of Jackson remains unknown. Repeated failed negotiations among city leaders and waste management is leaving the capital city on the brink of a crisis. 12 News' Anthony Howard has been following this story and joins us now with an update. Anthony? Well, Melanie, as time winds down, now with over 48 hours remaining in the city's current waste removal contract, tensions are rising. Thursday could possibly be Jackson's last trash day, trash day until an agreement is met. Thursday, two days away. I mean, when do you think a judge is going to finally hear this case? Uh, look, I, I'm hopeful that it will happen soon. But the main thing is that uh, I believe the council took all the action that it could to make sure that come Friday uh, that we don't have trash powder. Council members are hoping for the mayor's signature for the proposed 30-day extension with waste management. And what I wanted was to make sure that we have uh, effective service, uh, that we treat workers right, uh, that we also look for solutions in how we pick up our litter. The mayor remains steadfast on his position in the matter. I've answered your question. And elected not to comment on any future legal action against his counsel. Oh, hold on, this is real talk, real talk. People who live in Jackson attended both meetings expressing their frustration with the looming crisis. In metropolitan cities, they get once-a-week services with the garbage bin and their streets are clean. Oh, get something in place. Take care, to make sure that they take care of yeah. Employees of waste management are calling for city leaders to do something about their stressful work environment. At first, it wasn't about a new country. It was about treatment. Mm -hmm. It went down there with a lot of people that's no longer here now because of their treatment. This is sounding great. Two, two hours, two, two hours, and a work around here to help the doctors out. It sounded great for us. According to Banks, FCC Environmental Services won the mayor's bid but was voted down by city council twice, rendering their proposal void for one year. And the city council still wants the mayor to sign the 30-day extension with waste management in order to keep waste removal service in the city. Failure to do so could result in a daily $25,000 fine. The expectation is that the temporary expansion plan will grant the mayor enough time to perform another RFP process. And one more thing to add, uh, Councilman Banks said he's working with Hines County for a safety net if negotiations aren't reached by Friday. Melanie? All right, Anthony.